and uh, welcome to uh, one of our installation steps uh, here from PHP My Intro. I'm uh, Charles Severance, your instructor. And, uh, and so here we are at uh, PHP My Intro. And uh, what we're going to do as part of these installation steps, uh, this is going to be MAMP, and we're going to show you how to get uh, errors turned on. So let's go ahead and start MAMP up. Hello, MAMP. And so here we are. I've got a pretty, uh, maybe I'll make the font a little smaller. Okay, so let's talk, let's take a look at the problem. So one of the things you got to do is take a look at PHP info. And uh, this tells you a lot a bit about your PHP. And um, I'm going to look for a variable here called display errors. And display errors is off. And so what happens here is if display errors is off and you make a mistake in your PHP, um, it it won't tell you. Okay, so let me let me go ahead and write a little PHP code here. Oops, don't want that PHP code. Just want a little tiny bit of PHP code. So I'm going to make a little tiny PHP file, and I'm going to make a terrible mistake in it. I'm going to say per, um, p r i m t hello world. Alright, so I made a mistake, so I'm going to save this. I'm going to save it into, um, I'll make a folder in my htdocs called oops. And I'll call this oops.php. Okay, so now I'm going to go and I'm going to go to that. And the folder oops and oops. PHP. Okay, so so here's what happens. So I'm, I just made this little file, and the problem here is I got a uh, I got print and not print. Well, let me let me fix it, and then we'll see that it works. I hit refresh. There we go. Hello world. Now I'll break it by making a mistake, and. It says 500 internal server, which is kind of a scary sounding thing, but all we really did was made a syntax error. And so the problem is, is that we've got to tell it that we want to see the errors because it's for security, it's protecting us. But for development, it's kind of frustrating. We can go find it in a log somewhere, but it's easier just to turn this off. So the thing to do is to go in here and search for the string php.ini. And this will tell you exactly where to look so that you can change your INI file. And then what we want to do is close all that stuff. And I'm going to edit and I'm going to turn off my servers because I don't want to edit that INI file while my servers are running. So now my servers are down. And I'm going to go into here and I'm going to open a new file. And I'm going to go exactly where it told me to. Applications, MAMP, bin, I'd, it might have been easier to write this down, PHP 544, conf, PHP INI. So there we go. And so in here, I'm going to find display errors. And I want this on instead of off. And then I'll save it. Uh, you might have to change this error reporting and turn it all the way on. Um, that might be helpful too. So I've saved this PHP file. See, here's the, here's the path where I saved it. Um, and now I'm going to start my servers back up. Up comes Apache, up comes MySQL. So now I'm going to, well, let me go to MAMP again, uh, st open the start page, I'll check PHP my admin just to make sure and look for display errors. And now display errors is on, so that's quite nice. So now I'm going to go to localhost um, 888 slash oops oops.php okay so now there we go we got like a syntax error on line 2 of oops.php and so because we've turned that display of errors on it shows it now it's worried that it will have uh, mistakenly revealed some some security thing but again during development you kind of want it this way and uh, and so that's it the, the key thing is to find display errors and look for uh, PHP INI 
and then find this file, turn your servers off, edit it, and then fix it. Okay? Okay, thanks a lot.